Hello everyone, my name is Rafael and today I'm going to talk about a musical instrument. Have you ever listened to someone playing the flute? And if you did, have you ever thought about who came up with it and why did it so? Well, a flute is a musical instrument that came from a simple idea, but that has been reinvented over and over again throughout the years. Today we have it in many different shapes, in many different forms, and for many different uses. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about this diversity that we have when it comes to flutes, about the history behind, behind the flutes, and about some of the things that needs to be learned and practiced by someone who wants to learn how to play the flute. Well, how, how did it start it? Back in 1995, a prehistoric instrument made of bones was found in a cave near the Idrica River in Slovenia. The archaeologists believe that this instrument is 50,000 years old, which would make it the oldest known instrument in the world. So flutes are not a new instrument. It's very old instrument and the interesting thing about this flute made of bones that was found is that it can still be played nowadays but why would that people from 50,000 years ago come up with something like a flute well today we have proof and proof and um, scientific studies showing that music has many different benefits, such as leading people to better learning, helping treating mental illnesses, helping lowering, lowering anxiety, and helping with um, symptoms of depression. It can even help your heart to be healthier. Probably people from back then didn't know all that, but they knew how it made them feel they knew that it was good for them so they started to to create it and develop it and play it and the flute continued um, to grow throughout the years and today we have more than 21 different types of flutes flutes they're a little bit more modern we have flutes made of um, wood flutes made of plastic we have vessel flutes electrical flutes a lot of ca different kinds of flutes and they are also used for different things we have flutes they are played in um, sacred rituals flutes they are played at church flutes they are played for fun leisure um, flutes are played in, in treatments as we as I mentioned before this shows how diverse flutes are and some people may think that if a flutist knows how to play one kind of flute they know how to play them all but that's actually not true flutes are, are very different the since they have different size shapes they also have different ways to play to be played um, but there are two things that are, are very important for someone wanting to learn how to play the flute. The first one are the notes. The notes are made by a combination of keys or holes. And these notes combine with the, the way the, the musician blows the flute and the way they place their mouth in the flute makes the music. This thing, the way they blow, the way they place their mouth is, is also known as the embusher and uh, the combination of a proper embusher and of the notes that are played makes the, the music. So if you want to learn how to play the flute, you must focus on learning how to 
place your mouth in the flute, your lips in the flute, how to blow properly, and how to find the right um, combinations of keys or holes. So that's my video telling a little bit about the history behind the flutes, a little bit about the diversity that we have when it comes to flutes, and about some of the important things you need to know if you want to learn how to play flutes. Thank you for watching.